What's up my shuggies, Ashley here, and in today's video, I have an amazing small update from that massive project I told you I was going to be working on for probably the next six centuries. And <laughs> I have made some nice progress with the kitchen that I wanted to update you with, including a ton of organization. So if you are into organizing your kitchen and pantry, I have some amazing things I want to show you that you can get for yours, as well as show you how I designed and laid everything out. So if you are trying to create or finish that project for yourself, there are some great ideas to help you along the way. So if you are interested in seeing this kitchen organization reveal and haul, then just keep watching. Okay, so we're working in the kitchen as you can see, and I got a ton of organizational stuff from Target, so I'm going to start working on organizing the stuff under the cabinets and in the pantry. And here is the pantry. So lots of organizing to do in here too.
All right, you guys, I also wanted to hop on here and talk about this couch that finally has been delivered and go over all the details. I have gotten so many questions about this couch, you guys. It truly is amazing. So I have been looking for, like everyone else in the entire world, a cloud couch dupe because who wants to spend that kind of money on a couch? And I've been looking high and low. I finally came across a picture on the internet, supposedly of this, I believe it's Tanavi couch from Ashley Furniture. Looked, 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 looked online, looked everywhere, couldn't find it. Happened to be in another city with my husband and we saw an Ashley Furniture, decided to stop. Told this guy about the couch, looked around the store, bam, here it is, in the flesh. So, the great thing about this couch, I'm going to tell you all of the great, amazing things about this couch. For one, it is completely customizable, and by that I mean you can get it any way you want. And so, we're going to start with the ottoman here, completely adjustable. Everyone asks, does it come off? Do you slip through the crack? No, because the base is super heavy and dense, you do not have to worry about that. Also, Velcro. So if you need to clean them, if you need to move them, vacuum them, that helps them also stay in place. So you can get, this is just the regular standard ottoman. You can get the ottoman, you can get the end chair, you can get the, I think they call this like middle section or just section. And then this is another section. And then this is another end chair and then another ottoman. So we created this shape. This was the shape that my husband wanted. This was very similar to what we had before. And thank God it was completely customizable. They did have another one that is very similar, but you could not. And I do not know why someone would make a couch that only goes two different ways. It was like this, but it stopped right there and you could only do it that way or reversed. That's it. There was no other way to do it. And it's like, that's so crazy to me that things are not customizable. Everyone's house shape is different. So that's really what sold me. I also love the fact that it was very affordable. And then the next thing was the material. It is so beautiful. And I love in this light, you really can see the detail of the different color variations. A lot of people said, oh my gosh, Ashley, is it super white? As you can see, it's not. It's really a bone color mixed and um, sewn in with like a beige taupey color. So all together you get this like nice deep like dimension full of bone with little bits of brown in it. So it really gives it that nice dimension and neutral color. It is not going to be yellow. It is not going to be orange. It is not going to be brown. As you can see, this is natural daylight. I just have my bar lights on because my house is super dark and it is a very nice neutral color. I also love that the cushions have a down feather layer in them mixed with the memory foam because that was one thing that I hated about the cloud couch is who is going to spend that kind of money and then after, you know, two, three months, it, they're all, dil everything's dilapidated. It's all squish and, and mushy and nasty. I don't want a saggy, soggy couch. I do want it to still have some body and some oomph left to it. Um, again, worst case scenario, after years and years and years, that does happen. You can totally replace the foam inside of this. You can add stuffing in. All of these are completely removable. All of them are completely removable on um, themselves. And by that, I mean the zipper. So you can remove them off the back and vacuum back here. You can remove them inside with the cushion and zipper and clean them as you will. Again, all things that are important with anyone that is trying to buy a couch, you guys know how important that kind of stuff is. It's little things that we think about, you know, when we have family and kids and all of those things, you have to consider that when purchasing a couch. Now, I also went ahead and got this rug I have been eyeing for 
ever from home goods it was definitely on the pricier side but omg you guys this quality is amazing it is from italy it is definitely i i think i'm pretty sure the tag said it was um from italy made in italy something like that um definitely nice and woven it's got this great um dimension and kind of like gray color throughout as you can see here and here just kind of going down it's just got a little bit of that gray um spurs throughout the carpet but i love it and it was definitely worth the weight and the money i think it's just super complimentary to the color of the couch i also just grab this coffee table. It's super old. It's actually from Ashley as well. Um, it was upstairs in our movie room and just threw it down here because I wanted to see what this looked like with a nice contrast of color. You know, I'm always about the contrast, especially because my console table is lighter with the marble. I wanted something to pop so it was, wasn't was all monochromatic. Um, we do have the lighter fireplace and the white shelves. So again, just looking for that contrast to kind of pull in those black mirrors as well. So I think that was a good choice. I don't know if we'll end up keeping this forever. Obviously my poor movie room is like torn apart, just trying to, um, you know, redecorate that always happens. But if I do find something in the meantime, that's totally fine. If I do find something in the future, totally fine. If not, this will do. Um, I just threw some stuff on there. That's obviously not how it's going to stay decor wise, but I just wanted to see shape wise and size wise if it would work. I was thinking about getting a round one because the previous one that we had was round and it worked really well for this space. But again, it's not a necessity. If I find one, great. If I don't, you know, this will do for now. I was just really happy to get the couch. I also wanted to point out one more thing. Um, for those who are really, you know, specific about finding the right couch, this one does have a really modern sidearm, as you can see here, without all these pillows in the way. It is a very clean line, very modern line, but not overly modern. And I also love the fact that the back comes up a little bit higher and then because of these stiff cushions, you've got a nice bit of height in the back. Um, our previous couch was really nice. I'm sorry, that's the washer. But because it was super modern, all of those things were a lot lower. Nothing wrong with that, but because I have this taller console, I did want a taller pillow to kind of help keep that balance going because if these pillows were super, super low, I just felt like it didn't look as good. So little, you know, things that obviously a lot of people would notice, but if you're, like I said, in the market for a couch, it's something that you're really worried about. I wanna kind of point all these things out to help you because that's always helpful, you know, when shopping. Uh, pillow wise, obviously extremely monochromatic. These aren't gonna stay this way. I just threw ones that I had um, in the closet, but I want to stay with this theme, like the bone and black texture color. I love that. I want to try to bring some browns and blacks and warmer tones um, throughout. So I won't be keeping that. As you can see, that pops a lot more. I'll be going more towards this realm. And then this was, um, was a pillow that I had that I just picked up a long time ago and stored away. So I was thinking like a nice lumbar pillow, but for all intents and purposes, I just wanted to show you guys what this looks like. It truly is amazing. I will link it below for you. The Tanavi, I believe that's how you pronounce it, from Ashley Furniture. Um, it is now online. I have been looking for months and it was not online, so it is now confirmed to be online if you want to look at it online. They have a couple of different... Um, shapes to choose from. So I hope that that helps you guys. Please tag me. Let me know if you have it, if you got it, if you love it, what you think. And that is it for the couch. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap up this update on this kitchen organization and pantry haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, I will link all of the items that I purchased in the description box down below. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that post notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload new videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.